September 1st, 2018, arguably the best field of female athletes to ever assemble at a half Ironman World Championship came together in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. The defending champion, Daniela Reef, has had a season like we've never seen before and came into the race seemingly unbeatable. But there were a few women that didn't see it that way. Britain's Lucy Charles, with her amazing swim bike combo and improving run, is the future of Ironman racing. Second seed and last year's runner up to Reef, Emma Pallant confidently played the underdog role all week. American Sarah True has firmly established herself as one of the top long distance triathletes in the world this year, albeit not the most serious. Hometown favorite Jeannie Seymour has run down leads of over 10 minutes in her career, and likely a dozen other athletes were up to the challenge. And I'm not rolling over and playing dead. Well, my college strap yourself in. Super Saturday coming on up. Big thanks to Big Wolf. See you out there. As expected, Lucy Charles exited the water almost a minute and a half ahead of a pack, including Daniela Reef, Annie Haug, Sarah True, and Jeannie Seymour. Emma Pallant was another minute and a half back of that pack, but had super bikers like Heather Wortel to work with to get back up to that main chase pack. Despite the lead Lucy Charles built in the swim, she couldn't hold off Daniela Reef's bike power, getting past before the turnaround point, but surprisingly managed to hang on to Reef's pace. The chase pack worked hard to bridge up to Reef and Charles, but the bike ended up being the Daniela Reef and Lucy Charles show gaining an impressive lead on the road and entering T2 just seconds apart from each other while leaving the rest of the field seven and a half minutes behind. Once on the run course, Daniela Reef had to fight hard as Lucy pushed the defending champion into a painful spot that she would have to hold if she wanted to retain her title. And in behind, a pack of athletes that included some of the best runners in the field were charging forward, trying to get closer and closer and inch themselves towards the defending champ one stride at a time. Ironman 70.3 World Champion here in Nelson, Mandela Bay. What's up, man? Ironman 70.3 World Champion here in Nelson, Mandela Bay. 
In the end, Daniela Reef solidified her position as the best female long distance triathlete in the world, winning her fourth half Ironman world championship in a time of 4.01.13. Lucy Charles came in second in 4.04.59. And Annie Haug stormed into third with the best run of the day, finishing in 4.07.22. The women had a perfect day in what was likely the most competitive half Ironman World Championship in history. The best in the world were pushed. The next generation took another step forward. athlete after athlete, both pros and nearly the 2,500 age group women who raced, tested themselves on a beautiful course, in a friendly city, all becoming better versions of themselves in the process. Yeah.